<laughs> in case you want to record the session ah, in the I bottom know. of your screen you will have a button for record so step therapy so and uh, from three drugs you have to go to two then you have to go to a single drug like that you can do that connect or you can simply just in the bottom you can have this you got the buttons for stop recording you just have to scroll down to the bottom of the screen you have share screen chat participants recording the whole list will be there so you can record so anyway i am recording and in case in case uh, you miss recording it i will ensure that it will be posted on a private channel for us to have a look at it and uh, see it in a later stage Mother, yes, mother, I'm not, mother, I'm not hearing your voice. Mother, your voice is cutting, cutting, cutting. Sir, I, I can hear your voice, sir. And now I can hear you. Now only. Yeah, hear. sir, yeah, sir. Okay, sir, okay, sir. Let us consider that mother is going to get married shortly. Your volume is low, sir. My volume is low. Thank you, sir. So yes, mother's volume is low. Not able to hear properly, sir. Whose volume is low? Mine or mother's? Can others hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, 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 sir. Ah, so my volume is not low. Please increase the volume on your device. Okay. Now, what we want to do is, uh, without much ado, we'll start our meeting with a proper introduction. And uh, today's talk is about basics of mirrors. Professor Dr. Mario Tangari is from Rome, Italy. and miras is a system invented designed and developed by dr tangari it is a combination of minimal internal and minimal external fixation in the form of an extremely right lightweight system weighing less than a dhs or a pfn or a plate and screws with no scars no incisions working as good as elizarov with no cumbersome apparatus hanging out of the body the basic idea is it is a fantastic system but it is not a universal system like elizarov it has got very very specific indications to perform correctly so that what indications technique will go in subsequent talks now let us start with one more now let us start with the basics of elizarov i am now going to share my screen and if you are not able to see the slides you know and we can take it from there now i am starting about today's talk it is a powerful presentation and uh, if you are not able to see the slides there please let me know if any of you have your mics on i would prefer that you switch off your mics so that we don't get echoes can you all see the screens yes good yes sir okay now today we are starting the first lesson of the mirrors technology on minute my computer is just getting ready to warm up occasionally uh, one minute i had a power cut I had a power cut wait wait wait, wait. to wait a minute you know you know yeah one minute okay. there you go i'm sorry for the delay we are getting few more people coming in so i am uh, taking them in and uh, 
getting them in we are having because of heavy monsoons here we are having erratic power supply every time the current goes and comes my inverter ups will cause some issues and uh, the thing gets delayed so that is a issue where well, we are getting delayed so we are opening just now in a moment and in a minute we'll go it was repeatedly uh, troubling in afternoon hey anyway, we got one more member coming in we got another member coming in we'll get them all in and we we'll wait for a minute i'm sorry for the delay just one minute there we go yes My mistake. Sorry, sorry. I have located my mistake. We are. Uh, yes, we open. We are having two more members joining in. Is some issue? Ah, there we are. No, that's not the right file. We open the wrong file. It's opening numerous files one after the other. Let me get them right. Yes, there we got. Sorry. Yes. One moment. Um, yes, got it. And let's come to the past. So here we are. It was technology. Dr. Maria Tangari from Roma, Rome, Italy, is the inventor and also. one of the course faculty who will be teaching you the final points as we go on for the first lesson he is just going to be with us as a mentor to see the structure and format i'm thankful for him to have contributed his valuable time on a sunday afternoon it is 4 pm in rome italy and he has uh, sacrificed his afternoon siesta for being with us and teaching us and of course Another course instructor is myself, Dr. Prakash, erstwhile Chennai, now in Palakkad. To put it to the point, I have never met Dr. Mario Tangari in my life, but we have become so close friends over the last six months that it seems as if we have known each other for years. The one thing I can tell you about Miros is those uninitiated to this system. can barely comprehend its capabilities meaning it is such a fantastic system that only those who have done it seen it or experienced it can know how different it is from a nail or a plate or a combination of nail or plate or any other similar device that is available in existence i those uninitiated uninitiated with the system can barely comprehend its capabilities minimally invasive invasive reduction and osteosynthesis system that is the full form of miros m i r o s minimally invasive reduction and osteosynthesis system this represents a new frontier at a revolution due to post operative comforts compliance and complication free outcomes on the left you can see a calcaneal fracture with a bad skin being plated with a complex plating assembly 
with a large L shaped incision and eventually the whole thing necrosed here and we had to end up with an amputation on the contrary you see mirrors identically bad skin with a chymosis just two clamps and four wires and this patient had a near normal ankle and subtalar joint and was walking normally in six months time Biros is an elastic metaphyseo medullary fixation retained by small external clamps used primarily in fractures of cancerous bones. So, the important thing you must use it is a it is not an extra medullary system. It is not an exclusive intra medullary system. It is a bridge between extra and intra medullary system. Called a metaphyseo medullary fixation. And primary use is in cancerous bone fractures. Of course, you can use it in very selected cortical bones, but it is more useful in cancerous bones. What are the advantages of Miras? Very short operating time because the close synthesis without exposing the fracture hematoma. Recovery is much faster, pain immediately disappears the instant you stabilize the fracture, bleeding, pressure sores, infections, all these are a thing of the past. Other advantages are the clamps are extremely small in size, unlike bulky elisera or just fixators or external fixators hanging out of the body. Miros clamps are very tiny and they are just hanging out of the skin. They are aesthetically pleasing. They don't have a tension, stress, or memory effect. They are very easy, easy and convenient to use. There is no breakage or implant failure per se. And it has got what Mario calls as internal stability with controllable external clamps. That is the basis and the principle of mirrors. This is preservation in fracture biology. One minute, there's one more person is waiting to be admitted. Okay, I'll admit. There's no blood loss because it's a completely closed system. It is highly patient compliant. Fracture faster union as compared to open methods and internal fixation. Let's come to the basic premise or the fundamental axiom as to why Miros works or how Miros philosophy is different from the AO philosophy and very close to the Charlie philosophy or Sarmiento philosophy. Bone structure resembles arches. That's an arch, that's an arch, that's an arch. Havers and canals and the arch always has a keystone or a junction between the two curves, the two weaknesses joined together by the strength of a keystone. Bone consists of cortical element and cancerous element. And if you look at the bone structure, you can find the whole thing is in the form of arches, arches and more arches. This unique architecture of repeated arches close to each other makes the bone extremely light, yet very, very strong. One more person. Ah, okay, I am joining them. Sorry for interruptions. Whenever new people come in, I have to join them. I am making them in the invisible mode so that our screen is not disturbed. Bone is not like a wood. In X-ray, we only see the dead part of the bone. Live part of the bone is not visible. You need to see an MRI to see the live part of the bone. And like any other tissue, there is a constant turnover, which means there is osteoclasis and osteoblasts. Both osteoclasts and osteoblasts work. One removes the bone, one adds the bone. And that is a keystone that keeps this and this arch together without collapsing. These photographs have been sent by Mario from his uh, dining table and 
You can try this experiment. And uh, one minute, I've got one minute. You have to just give me one second. Uh, participants, one waiting, Ganesh. I will meet them. And I will bring him here. Okay. Where is the other idea? And then keep him down. Okay. Take an egg and try to crush it superior inferiorly. It is almost impossible to crush. There is even a story that Akbar uh, or Jahangir made an elephant stand on a vertical leg and it did not break. Whereas if you crush it like this, it breaks. The strength is in this direction because of this, which is a keystone. To understand this, we must see all sorts of arches we see in literature. This is a primitive stone age arch. Stones just lined over one another. No mortar, no plaster, no cement. Yet, with this key mortise, these two are being supported beautifully. That is a keystone. Long back, Leonardo da Vinci had mentioned that an arch is a combination of two weaknesses that gives profound strength. But at a microscopic level, bone resembles multiple arches placed close together concentrically and if you are able to restore the keystone in this arch structure, we should be able to restore the stability of the bone. This is an elastic fixator rather than an external fixator or internal fixator. So unlike plates and screws where you have to make incisions and then insert the implant, here you are inserting the wires percutaneously. K wires are the basic insertion elements which go into the bone and the difference between Elizra of K wires or conventional K wires is that all Miros wires are metaphysio medullary, which means from the metaphysis, the wires travel into the medulla and go right up to the joint without penetrating the joint. <coughs> this is much different from other external fixators. These are the precursors of the fixators which are known to us. The small fixators and uh, the mini fixators and just fixators. Miros is certainly different from all of them for many reasons. Number one, it is extremely small, lightweight, aesthetic, and elegant. These clamps come in different sizes. Metacarpals will have a different size, radius distal will have a different size, humerus will have a different size. Ankle will have a different size, and even distal femur will have a different size of clamp. The important thing is this proves axiom that mobility is life. Within few hours of the surgery, the patient is sent to the physiotherapy room, and uh, quite soon he is encouraged to restore not only normal function but to resume as much of his professional activities as possible. This philosophy is in tune with Dr. Arvind Devakar Jain's philosophy that function is life. So Dr. Devakar likes to get his patients back to work in plaster. In Mario's case, we intend to get the patient back to function as soon as possible. This is a uh, picture from the patent application of the Miras clamp and you can see that there is a bottom clamp, there is a top screw, there is a grub screw that locks it and here are the slots for the K-wire to go and this number 10 is a K-wire which can go in. This thing can twist and so you can have one, two, three, four K-wires in any of these axes which you are going to tighten and 
tension and stress providing as much tension as an illusory system will be able to provide you mirror system also has specific instrumentation for locking the clamps the bending pliers something to push in and all these shall be shown and described to you during the subsequent lessons me and dr mario are in discussion about producing the system in india and hopefully by august or september we should be able to launch patented mirrors in india at an affordable cost for the patients we are thinking in terms of less than 500 rupees or uh, less than uh, 10 for one clamp for a patient we will have dr tangari's name is his patent will be protected and it will be sold as an original mirrors the complete instrumentation and clamps and everything shall be sold properly and if you are able to buy two clamps for a wrist or humerus for less than 1000 rupees this should become an affordable system which will have overwhelming response in our country we have not discussed the finances nor have we discussed the modality of manufacturing which should come the whole thing was delayed because of corona it should come in future and i assure you that the purpose of this is primarily to ensure that an excellent philosophy is spread comfortably to the entire population who desires requires and affords it to re emphasize mirror is an elastic fixation where the forces are balanced equal and opposite so it combines leonardo da vinci's theory and isaac newton's principles this wire will balance this wire and this wire will balance this wire which means two try to stretch it apart and two try to compress and between them you have something called an elastic dynamic fixator which facilitates linear telescoping movements however it resists rotatory movements and angulatory stresses let me repeat again this system this dynamic system facilitates and encourages linear telescopic micro motion while it prohibits or prevents rotation and angulation this in itself will be a stimulant to wolf's law or sarbento's principle or even ellis's law principle that the moment you cut away rotation and you cut away angulation and you cut away shear forces and not only do rigid compression like aeo plates but allow linear micro motion which means compression distraction compression distraction and that is the ideal situation which will lead to rapid quick union and healing of any fracture at this moment the mirror is not used for deformity correction it is not used for soft tissue anomalies it is not used for soft tissue stressing it is primarily meant for trauma in adolescents and adults and in a cattle child but as more studies are happening on this system between dr tangari and myself and all his colleagues in italy quite soon we should be able to modify mirrors add olive oils to mirrors and add some more things to mirrors to ensure that it emerges as a very lightweight alternative to elizra slightly better than jess but that is in future this is a mirror frame which shows all the characteristics of the system you can see two wires are diaphysio metaphysio the so starting from diaphysis they go right into metaphysis but we must not cross the okay 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 we must not cross the metaphysis here these two wires are metaphysio diaphysio 
Somebody is not moving his phone. One minute, one minute, please. One minute, one minute. Okay. And this is diaphyseo, metaphyseo diaphyseo, where the wires are going right up to the elbow without crossing into the joint. So here the wires don't cross the shoulder, but approach it. Here the wires don't cross the elbow, but are still approaching it. This is a clamp which will be compressed and by compressing, we can distract the fracture, by distracting, we can produce virus stresses. So the blue arrows and red arrows work in opposite direction. You separate them and you get a virus stress, valgus stress. You compress them, you get a virus stress. Which means the whole micro motion is fully controllable, which gives a very great advantage of mirrors. Very simple, precise instrumentation. You need a wire bender, a wire pusher, a T handle, and so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine instruments only. You can pack in a very tiny box, mm -hmm. and it can be used in most situations. Doctor Tangari uses them only in uh, under anesthesia, but I am sure that between me and Doctor Divakar, we'll soon evolve methods to do it under regional block, portal blocks, and uh, local anesthesia and that is waiting for future. I've got two messages saying that we are running short of time and we've got only seven minutes for questioning. So I'll come to the last slide after which we have got just seven minutes for questioning. Uh, from the next uh, Sunday onwards, we'll have a Zoom on a paid basis where we'll have longer duration of uh, lessons up to one and a half hours. So no problem for this. It will automatically get disconnected before that you can ask your questions. The last size is complex patterns become easy with mirrors. You can see an open tongue with a bowler's angle disturbed. And just with four K wires, you get the bowler's angle perfect, calcarium perfect, and so much superior to plates with so little and minimal invasion. I hope. This gave you a rough idea. Let me stop the screen share now and uh, we shall get back to the main talk. One minute. So now, I think I will ask Dr. Arvind Devakar Jain to speak something to all of us and tell him, tell us his impressions or ideas about fracture management and its uh, implications in lieu of uh, 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 conservative, operative and mini-operative. Dr. Tivakar. Yes, good evening to all. Uh, this is a very, very simple system. I feel that I have introduced this to the Indian doctors because I have seen about five years back and I was highly impressed. And uh, as Dr. Prakash said, this is very well possible to introduce these wires under hematoma block and portal block. So this will ease the application even in OPD for a very minor fracture. Like I see here that uh, Dr. Mario is using K wires as joystick. And when reduction is done, there he locks. Am I right, Dr. Mario? Yes. Dr. Mario, yes, you are using like joystick and once yeah. production is done, it is stable. Please. Yeah. I, use, I, use, I use, uh, without a uh, joystick, yes. Uh, the secret of MISO is instruments and the, uh, the, the wire, the, um, clamp. the ring. Clamp, clamp, clamp. The, okay. Um, uh, yesterday, I, I, sorry. Eh? My my friend uh, Prakash uh, Donna. You posted the, a the case. case. Yes, yes, you posted a case. case. I control. I control the rotation. I control lunghezza, longation, and uh, rotation. But the secret is the medullar canal. Is the the wire in the medullar canal? Uh, because Mirus is hybrid fixator. It's no external fixator. No Kishner wires. But it's the hybrid, a new concept of 
internal and the external fixator. What he means uh, is yes, it allows compressive micro motion in like a shock absorber, allow, but does not allow rotation, does not allow no angulation. Rotation. Okay, is uh, the secret is uh, pumping effect, pumping effect in the the, the fracture. Uh, when they move the arm, you you have the micro movements in the fracture, the pumping fracture, pumping the pumping movement. Pumping it uh, restore the, the the callus, very fast callus, mirus <coughs> accelera, uh, uh, fast callus with mirus. Uh, and the first restore the patients non block the patients don't block the articulation uh, so you fruit uh, the the biological the biological restore of the callus of the uh, sorry eh? <laughs> no it's okay he means that by supporting sarmiento and charlie principles you are ensuring a secondary healing with abundant callus as compared to compressive primary healing, which is detrimental. Unlike a compression plate where you see no callus, Miros unites with callus in metaphyseal diabetal areas. And even in metaphyseal area where there is normally not much callus, the moment you put in Miros and give linear micro motion, radiologically you can see some callus and satisfactory union that makes the surgeon's uh, outlook happier and is able to assess the progress. I have, he has shared me complete series of x-rays and I have yeah, seen heck of humors uniting in less than five weeks. Please, Dr. Mario. And I, in the, my house, I have mirrors in, uh, uh, in the room. And so I come, I have the instruments, I have the clip, I have the, the wireless kitchener. I speak with the exempt, if you want. Yes, next time yes. you are going, that is your talk, which is an extempore talk. One minute, one minute, <laughs> one minute, okay? Okay, bring, 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 bring. I'll just keep talking. What happens is Dr. Mario is under contract with a talent manufacturer where he's paid a small amount of royalty for marketing these clamps and he is not able to manufacture it in Italy per se. We are trying to get out of the copyright so that we can manufacture these in India and make them largely available for our people. And he has sent me his set of wires, clamps and instrumentation. But I have desisted from copying them for a simple reason that uh, right now, due to patent and copyright issues, he doesn't want to get in trouble with his parent company. Now, in case this uh, cuts by the time Dr. Mario comes, please re-log in with the same username and password. So next time you will not have this problem because we will be getting unlimited duration. Today our uh, is this thing, uh, Zoom is only a free Zoom which comes for uh, 40 minutes. So once we cross 40 minutes, they will disconnect. So we will have to reconnect with the same username and password. I will send a message to Mario also saying that please reconnect with the same username and password. One minute. Yes, you are there. I am. Uh, accept my request, Ganesh, and I just now only am seeing all these people. One minute. He's just gone to get his clamps and wires for us to have a look. Wait for a minute. That's okay. Arvind Jange, do you want to make any comments? You have worked with Rancho Q. See, you would unmute first. You would unmute and then talk. You have to work with Rancho. Ah, there he comes. Okay, let him talk. Yeah, I use Miros technique in few cases. It is very very easy to operate this technique. You can do in hematoma block or local anesthesia. Only problem I face is if you have fracture over greater tuberosity of humerus, then uh, uh, reduce the pressure after 15 days. 
because I resolve the, the, the edema. I no, don't have with the mirrors this problem because you reduce immediately the fracture. Immediately, it's very simple to reduce the fracture. You understand? And, uh, well, good Mario, wait, wait, wait. Dr. Mario, every time you speak, I'll just retell them what exactly you mean. Dr. Mario says, number one, you must be a master of close reduction before you start doing mirrors. Reduction is never open, it is closed. So you must know the biomechanical principles and accurately reduce the fracture before introducing the system. So you cannot introduce a mirror system into a wrongly reduced fracture because mirrors will not correct the reduction. It maintains the reduction in a biological milieu. Second, he says that with mirrors, you do not need to wait for the skin blisters or skin healing or skin condition to become better before you put the system. For example, in normal calcaneal fractures with large bruises and hematoma and blisters, everybody waits for 15 days to then reduce and plate. He says no, because the reduction is being done closed and then is maintained by a percutaneous external system without any risk to skin for skin necrosis and flap necrosis. This system can be used immediately after fracture. In addition, he has also found a method of skin perforation like fishnet, which he will teach later that comes as a part of the lesson. Let him just show us his implants and the wire so that we can understand. Please, Dr. Mario. Okay. Miros, uh, Miros have uh, uh, one system, have the instruments, instruments and uh, the uh, Kitchener wires, uh, the different diameter, diameter. The apex is, the apex is particularly have, uh, um, sorry, uh, help me. They have the elasticity. Elasticity. Uh, it's very elastic, the, the mirrors. And uh, the clip, the clip, it have the ring in the clip. Okay? It's no, uh, uh, the clip have the ring. Particularly the ring. You have the, the salt. The salt to mm -hmm. the kitchener is in this direction, okay, with the click and the rule, a, a rotation. You understand? Huh? Okay. He means that the clamp is made in multi parts and the wire can be inserted in any direction from the place it emerges. Meaning that we do not have to bend the wire to fix the clamp. We can rotate the clamp to adjust to the wire. His wires are made out of stainless steel for 3-0. Unlike uh, Elizra wires are made of stainless steel 410. So 430 is a very, very highly elastic steel, which is it will just spring. You take a, a wire and just tap it with the finger do like that, like a tuning fork. And he feels that the higher elasticity of wire is another secret why Miros works. Though his students in India, yeah. like Patel, who attended courses, have been using Miros for uh, using Elizra wires and Joji clamps, Mario feels that the secret of success of Miros is the correct wire and the correct clamp. Dr. Mario. Okay. The clips is difference for uh, the bone segment. The uh, uh, codex, uh, color codex, okay? This is the clip for uh, the metacarpal and the phalange. Phalange and the metacarpal, okay? Uh, and this is the clip for uh, uh, breast. Uh, the clip have one or two or two ring and the, the montage is in this direction okay sorry okay in the lateral approach in the lateral okay no yoshi yoshi have the tunnel and the yoshi is very difficult to 
uh, when do you have many, many the, the Kishinev wars in the bone, the Yoshi is very difficult to do uh, the montage of, of Yoshi. But Miros, Miros is very simple because it's lateral. Okay? Okay? Uh, do you have one or two Kishinev wires? Rotation. Okay? You understand? Uh, uh, Prakash, help me. Yes. Now, what okay. it means is the clamp has two functions. It is extremely lightweight, at the same time, it is extremely stable. Once you lock it, it won't move. But once it is loose, it can move in 360 degrees in any direction. So, unlike Jess or conventional clamps, where you have to fit the clamp to the wire. Here, the wires can emerge in any direction you want. The clamps will automatically fit. So if the wires are 90 degrees, it will fit. To 45 degrees, it will fit. And they are parallel also, it will fit. So right from 0 degrees onwards, to any angle, as is showing in this uh, thing, the mirror's clamp will adjust with the wires. And okay. you can move it superiorly, inferiorly, medially, laterally, and in any angle. So, in uh, Elizarov, your connection bolts will fix your frame. In Jess, its cantilever will fix the frame. Here, it is an elastic dynamic frame, which is unlike other external fixators. And that brings us to the main concept that Miros is not an external fixator. Miros is not internal fixation also. Miros is a dynamic mix of external and internal fixation. Dr. Mario. When you close uh, light, when you close with the finger light, is don't, don't have a possibility to, uh, in lateral, is blocked the, the Kishner. The Kishner is blocked. If you have that possibility to have two wires or four wires. It's a difference the clip for two wires or four wires. Okay? It is more important to permit this movement because different is montage. Do you have the possibility to external fixator, hybrid fixator and uh, and uh, compression with the two wires? Okay. Uh, you I, I, I translate, I translate, I translate. What you just meant now was we can differentially lock this movement or this movement. So rotational movement or translation movements can be differentially locked. So we first lock tightly the wire to the clamp in the linear axis so that it will not slip over the clamp. But the rotational axis has to be left free to balance it in the position of reduction before clamping it properly. Because this is not only reducing before the clamp is put, after the clamp is put on the wires, we look into the C-arm. And if there are minor imperfections, the course correction can be done under the C-arm by rotational correction. So once the linear correction has to be locked, because of its specific concept, uh, construct, we can independently lock the rotation and the linearity by tightening of different screws. That is a basic mirror. Please, Dr. Mario. This is very important because normally uh, the, the surgeon adapt the more the fracture at the, the synthesis, uh, the almezzo de synthesis. Uh, and the plate you adapt, but Milos is, is different because uh, you tried uh, many uh, morphology of fracture. Okay, uh, it is very important the instruments for Milos. I the most when I operate, if you have a rim, if you have a rim, 
with the rim is very important. You don't have the ergonomic uh, treatment because you uh, don't have. Uh, ah, okay, with the rim, the, the Kitchener wires uh, go to contrapost portal the perforation. You understand? Huh? If you are, so what is explaining is because the wire is specially beveled and he has got a special handle, it is going in one direction after crossing one cortex. The moment it touches the cortex, he twists the handle so that that blunt edge comes to the opposite side. And once you push more, it doesn't perforate the opposite cortex. It slides in the middle. Am I correct? Okay. I simulate the fracture in the metacarpal. It's very simple for me. In the metacarpal fracture, I use the instruments Okay, I mounted the Kishner in the, in the instruments. I closed in laterally. This is called a Mario spindle. Okay, I closed here. Okay, if you uh, have the fracture metacarpal, I go in the base, not in the in the in the neck. Okay. But uh, it's very difficult uh, in this direction, you know? So I bend with, uh, you know, I bend. Okay? If you bend, I go in the basis of metacarpal and with this movement, I go in the canal. Okay? You understand? Mm. Yeah. So whether it is the neck of humerus or distal radius or ankle, you just okay. give a 30 degree, 20 degrees bend to the wire. Okay. Be careful time. of the bayonet tip. So that the smoother surface is the bottom, sharper surface is the top. The top part is used to perforate the cortex. To bend the... To bend. Ah, and then the same okay. instrument is used to bend the wire at 90 degrees but and again 90 degrees, get the clamp. Okay. Do you have a technique, uh, Prakash? Do you have the technique, uh, my video? No, we don't have to do a technique today. First lesson today is only introduction. Okay. So we have got eight weeks, you don't need to finish everything. Today, no technique. Okay. Today we have so, had enough. Today we have is the system. Have the Kishinev. Yes. That's the domestication. It's elastic. In the half well, he, As Mario said, Miros is not the clamp. Miros okay. is not the wire. Miros is a philosophy. It is Tangari philosophy. philosophy. Because when uh, the approach the fractures, the AK store, they are the reduction joystick is very uh, important to philosophy to reduce the fracture. Um, in the calcaneus, the fracture is a difference. It's a, a articular fracture, it's apophysy fracture with the tendons. Uh, so you, with the instruments and with the clips and with the wires, you reduce the fracture uh, and the stabilization della frattura. You understand? <laughs> Excellent. Okay. So now, I think we have had a good introductory lecture. And uh, we have 10 delegates and all of them have been extremely happy with uh, the things so far. The messages I'm receiving are very complimentary. Things are going on well. So again, as per the schedule and timetable, you will get all your lessons uh, in PDF within the next two or three days. This is the bond, you know, with uh -huh. the three. Okay. In the uh, so wires have gone from here like that, they've gone up. Here they've the gone up. Here they've been clamped. This it's delta synthesis. Delta synthesis uh, in the next time you explain delta, delta synthesis. If you want, uh, if you uh, uh, here, eh? it's bending. So the control, the rotation, you understand? Eh? The rotation is uh, controlled. Four points. One, two, three, four points. Uh, so you control the rotation. You understand? Eh? 
So, once again, let me just summarize before we close today's session. Again, kindly send me study. Yes, study material will be sent. Madan, I'll send you. Don't worry. Uh, well, Thank you, sir. Today is this is a both internal and external fixation combined together. Number one. Number minimally invasive procedure that can be performed under local anesthesia or under hematoma block. But most important is we must ensure that. Okay. Most important is we must ensure that reduction is accurate before attempting any fixation. And you must become an expert in close manipulation like Dr. Divakar or Dr. Tangari. You must be able to reduce the fracture accurately before pushing the first wire in. Wires do not produce reduction. Wires maintain the reduction in both anatomical and biological axis and position, which in itself stimulates micro motion favorable to Wolf's law and makes the fracture heal faster with minimal weight compared to Elizarov and minimal complications compared to plates and screws or nails. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, we have got a notice saying that we have exceeded time. I am sorry, I will not be delaying you or asking you to re log in for the next time. We are getting a paid uh, membership because it's a US based company. We are to make payment in dollars. So I am just in the process of making through my bank. Because it was Sunday, I couldn't make it. Now I've learned all the flaws in uh, Zoom, and hopefully I should be able to get a professional paid account so that next Sunday when we come, you don't have to re-log in and all. You can start way in advance and can take it as far as possible. I must take this opportunity for thanking Dr. Arvind Dhamma Jangit, our Elizabeth expert, who's the only other person apart from me in India who has done Miras himself using important clamps or indigenous clamps. Arvind, import. He purchased clamps from Italy to use mirrors in India. And Arvind Jain, you can also to open an audio. He is another top person from India who is into non-operative management of fractures. My co-author along with Sarmiento. And he has got a series of 11,000 supracondylar fractures over the last 30 years. 11,000. And he has classified supracondylar fractures. And of course, Dr. Mari Tangar is here. So I am so grateful to be my Dr. Mari, you can uh, unmute your thing. Mario, unmute your, your mic has gone on close. Dr. Mario, your mic is, is on close. Lock. Ah, you got it. So now close this lockdown. Sir, in this lockdown, I used I operated three proximal humerus fracture with Mario technique. Mm -hmm. uh, I am having some, some difficulty in fixing greater tuberosity and bowl of bottom fracture. So there are some limitations for intraarticular fractures. But if we have limitation of anesthesia uh, and uh, some unfit patient, you can go with local anesthesia. You can operate anywhere. This is excellent exactly, technique. Exactly, exactly. Thank you very much. We are reaching the end of it. Before that, disconnect, we will disconnect. We shall meet next Sunday. Thank you. Goodbye. Good night. Thank you, sir.